Thursday night, the best night of the week for NBA basketball. Hi there, everybody, and thanks for being with us on 2K Sports. This is Brian Anderson, joined by Grant Hill and Richard Jefferson. Allie LaForce will be our reporter from the sideline. And now a chance to see what's coming up for the Philadelphia 76ers. On Saturday, they'll defend the home court against the San Antonio Spurs. And then on Monday, they'll defend home court against the Indiana Pacers. We're just about ready for tip-off. But first, let's hear from the sideline. Allie, it's all yours. Hey, Brian. This Sixers team is all in. Doc Rivers saying, quote, we talked about it. We can do a lot of winning, or we can try to be the winner. And being a winner is hard. That's what we want to become. We want the opportunity to be the winner. Brian, there's a difference. Back to you. Looking to be the last team standing, Allie. Thank you. And if your team is starting out slower than anticipated, how do you prevent frustration from setting in, Grant? That's a tough one. I mean, the trick is to try to stay even keeled. It's such a long season. You're going to have highs and lows. Just treat this like any other low point at any other time of the year. <laughs> it should pass. Here's the starting group for the Milwaukee Bucks. Middleton is the three, with Giannis playing the power forward. Joe Ingles is out there with Drew Holiday. And it's Lopez in at the five, down low. And for the 76ers. Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. James Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Harris in at the small forward. Now here's Holiday. Middleton from the outside gets the three to fall. Now if you're the defense, you can't allow Middleton to heat up out there. I mean, he can be so efficient from long range. Maxey passes to Harden. Tipped. Harden against Anadokounmpo. Uses the glass on the layup. Just consistent and pretty much automatic. Antetokounmpo may be the league's most efficient score inside 10 feet. Now here's Harden. And down it goes. Two points. The floater is so tough to defend against. Nothing defenders can really do but shake their heads. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy. But that had a high degree of difficulty. Here's Antetokounmpo. It's a three-point game. Perfect night so far. Two for two. They immediately found their offensive rhythm, hitting three straight shots to start the game. Here's Harden. Embiid a screen on Holiday. James Harden, and that's good. Harden's got five. I'll tell you what, a lot can be said about the contract Harden took to stay in Philly. He took less than what he commanded to help the team sign depth and rotation players. A very big gesture from Harden, showing just how much he wants to win in Philly. Now here's Middleton. Back to Ingles. Launches it. And it's Harris with the rebound. I mean, I think that was their first miss of the game. They've been just rolling. For three, Maxi. That shot is off. Milwaukee goes the other way with it. Outside Holiday. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. Out. Out to a hot start. Four makes and five shots to begin this ball game. Harden, the pass to Harris. Over to the left wing. Embiid inside. Working on Lopez. Pass to Maxi. Five to shoot. Shoots over Ingles. And it's Maxi missing. The Bucks have gone four of five so far. Looking sharp. Here's Ana Nakumpo. Oh, yes. Whoa. Throw it down. Oh. <laughs> Beyond belief. I mean, such a creative talent. And I'm not surprised to see Giannis get flashy on the finish. There's the AT&T 5G slam cam, capturing the moment. Now here's Maxi. Nine points in his last outing. Over Ingles. And another miss by Philadelphia. And he's very confident from that range, but you can't make them all. 
Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. Now Middleton. Back to Anadokounmpo. Lopez, the screen on Maxi from the high post. Philadelphia grabs the miss. A tough loss coming against Boston in their last game. They hit a couple big shots, but overall, there was a lack of consistency. Just not their night at the offensive end. And tonight, I expect them to play better offensively, try to get some closer looks. And yep, it's good. Once Embiid has the ball in that spot, it's lights out. Milwaukee has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Anadokounmpo against Tucker. Anadokounmpo inside. And he gets it to go. Anadokounmpo's got a good execution. They're getting some short-range looks here. Harden finds Embiid. Now Harris. Outside Harden. Jacks up a three. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Give him eight. Milwaukee in the lead. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. Tried to come right back with a three of his own, but it's no good. Philadelphia has gone two for three from outside the arc. Pass to Maxi. Launches a three. Anadokounmpo grabs the board. Shocking that he just bricked that one. The defense got real lucky there. Lopez in the post, checked by Tucker, and it's good. Two points. I mean, a big guy like Lopez won't stop for contact. He stays strong and powers through. Now here's Embiid. Pass to Maxi. Back to Embiid. And then Embiid with the dunk. NBA, the one-hand dunk just looks so fluid. Yeah, absolutely. Even smooth when he's powering at home like that. You know, and where the Bucks seem to dominate every year is on the glass, particularly at the defensive end. Number one in the league the last four seasons. A kick out to Ingles from the arc. No luck on that one. Yeah, and the defense has really got to tighten up on him. I mean, he's just too dangerous from the three-point line. Ingles against Maxi. Back to Tucker. Puts up a three. Oh, my. He came close to a four-point play. He'll head to the line for three free throws. That's on Brook Lopez. And Grant, I guess for the Bucks. hey, you can't teach size. And they're good fundamentally as well, B.A. I mean, they block out. They fight to maintain position. If you're going to beat them, it probably won't be with second-chance points. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. And the Bucks going with a whole new group out there. The Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee. Here they come. And since we have a moment, here are last year's most efficient scorers around the league. Third is Montrez Harrell. So consistent from the floor. He shot it at a great clip last season. The Bucs have gotten seven of their first 12 shots to go. Carter finds Connaughton. Here's Crowder. Right side Carter over Milton. And Carter gets it to go on the assist from Crowder. Found some space to get off the mid-range, and he'll do damage from there if you let him. On the wing, Milton. He's checked by Carter from deep. Milton rebounded by the Bucks. Carter with it. Crowder a screen on Milton. Here's Carter. And that one's long. There's no way that's the best look this offense can produce. And you couldn't get a better shot off? Like, come on, you got to make the extra pass. Like, being a teammate will go so far in this league. If that's what they want to do, get him open looks early. The Bucks trail. Outside Carter. Pass to Connaughton. Back to Carter. The three ball. 
rebound by Melton. Philadelphia has gone three of six shooting from beyond the arc. He takes it in. And there's the rejection. They recover it. Yep, that one's good. Here's Carter. A minute 53 left in the opening quarter. Let's go with a three. And Reed pulls it down. Slow going for him this quarter. The defense putting up a good fight. Outside Milton. Pass to Reed. Melton on the wing. Six on the shot clock. Shoots over Portis. Second shot opportunity. And Harrell with a nice bucket inside. Now it's a 5-point 76ers lead. Yeah, terrific execution by Harrell. He collects the rebound and immediately goes after a shot of his own. Portis the screen. And here's Crowder from the arc. And Milton pulls it down. For Philadelphia, they've got 8 of 16 attempts to fall. There's 48 seconds left to play in the first. Lays it up and banks it in. And the 76ers lead by seven. We've seen that more than once today. An effortless basket inside. 27 seconds left in the first quarter here. Portis outside. To win the drought. It's good. I know what they say. Defense wins championships. But you need some bucket getters too now. Inside. Oh, got a piece of it. Portis with the steal. That one goes in. And now just a three-point Philadelphia lead. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. James Harden. He's been the guy making things happen for the 76ers. Eight points in the quarter. Showing how effective he can be. And don't go far. We'll be right back. as we get back to a game that's been pretty close so far here. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. Philadelphia has gone three of six from deep so far. We've got Tobias Harris. Joel Embiid is out there with Montrez Harrell. Then it's James Harden. And it's Maxi in at the shooting guard position. That's the group for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. Now here's Holiday. Pass to Middleton. Anadokounmpo, a screen on Harrell. Middleton passes to Anadokounmpo. Three on three. Gives us a chance to catch up with Ali LaForce. Thanks, Brian. James Harden, with plenty of confidence, said, not to brag or anything, but I'm really good at this game. I'm unselfish. I play the right way. I don't try to do anything I can't do or that doesn't benefit our team. And that mindset keeps me in a good place. PA? Very self-assured, Allie. Thank you. And so it's Milwaukee with it after the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. The shot by Holiday. No good. The Sixers leading. And Grant, last season, Drew Holiday winning the NBA Teammate of the Year Award for the second time. Yeah, and in 2021, B.A., he got the NBA Sportsmanship Award, too. So needless to say, Holiday tremendously respected by his peers and known for his dedication to others. Here's Middleton following the score by Philadelphia. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Rebound by Maxi. The 76ers have got two of three shots to go in the second. Closed the net on two minutes played here in the second. Harris on the wing. Another three for Philadelphia. Such a versatile offensive player. Harris using his range this time to strike from the arc. Middleton against Harris. Kumpo, left side. They need this. And 
and it's good on the layup. Adetokounmpo has got 10 points in the game. Great recognition of the mismatch, abusing the smaller defender, poor guy. Harden, the pass to Embiid, and it falls for him. He's hit three of his first four attempts. Capable of playing either guard position. Harden says for when his teammates are open is ridiculous. Lopez, the screen on Harris. Pass to Lopez. Takes the three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Harden's got four rebounds now. You have to credit their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Dragic finds Anadokounmpo. And Giannis with the dunk. The offensive arsenal of Giannis continuing to expand over time. This guy is a wrecking ball. The 76ers have gone a terrific 4 of 5 here in the second quarter. Three-pointer, Harden. Giannis with the rebound. Milwaukee has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to Middleton. It's stolen by Maxi. Embiid with it. Shoots over Lopez. Embiid gets the bucket. Give him eight points now. Well, and it's just clear how comfortable Embiid is shooting the ball, especially from mid-range. Back to Dragic. Pass to Lopez. Shot clock at six. Three-pointer is up. Middleton. The shot off that time. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. They'll face the Spurs at home after this one. And that'll put them halfway through a three-game homestand. Here's Harden. Back to Maxi. Here's Embiid. Covered by Lopez. Embiid can't hit. It can be tough to find space in the mid-range area. Probably should have passed that one up. Pass to Lopez. There's the triple. Tipped. And stolen by Harrell. Here's Maxi. Milwaukee with the rebound. kupo has got his fifth rebound in this one. Well, he better buy his teammates dinner tonight because they've covered him for what has been a terrible, absolute terrible shooting display. Now here's Kumpo. He's got 12. That one's good. Seven for 10 now. And when you're trying to slow down a top scorer, Often the game plan is to get physical. Grant, you would know better than anybody. What's it like in the trenches here? Well, B.A., it's interesting. I mean, it can wear on you. It's a mental challenge. When you're in the trenches trying to slow down a great offensive player, it really becomes a battle of wills. You have to stay focused. You have to be disciplined. And most importantly, you just cannot take a playoff and allow a great player to get going. And the Bucks call time here. here for the 76ers. Reed's checked in for Embiid. Milton comes in for Harrell, and it's Melton in for Maxi. And the Bucks will go for a different look here. Bobby Portis has checked in for Lopez. Crowder comes in for Anadokounmpo. Matthews, he's checked in for Middleton. And it's Allen in for Dragic. Now here's Crowder. Portis, the pass to Crowder. Left side, Holiday. Six to shoot. The Bucs need to get up a shot here. For three, Allen. Here's Portis. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And the 76ers making a change here. Tucker's checked in. One shot. Think about tough-nosed fan bases that don't hold back. The Philadelphia 76er fans, well, let's just say they stand out. They are extremely demanding of their team. Now here's Milton. Pass to Harris. They set the screen. And he'll crawl the 
foul, he'll head to the line for two. Sixers fans have no issues letting their players hear it when they are falling short of expectations. And you could argue it makes it tougher for these players in the long run. They know these fans want to win, and because of it, these players are determined not to let them down. But if you succeed, you worship for it. You know, for this Bucks team, they seem to play together as well as any team we've seen recently. Yeah, this team has a bunch of players who complement each other very well. And they've got so many different ways that they can play on the floor. That's what makes them so successful. Well, that <laughs> and Giannis. Holiday from long range, and it's Philadelphia with the rebound. They've led by as much as 10. And they've just built this lead by attacking the boards. From deep, Melton. The rebound by Matthews. The Bucks trail. Outside Holiday. Portis the screen. Puts it up from the high post. He goes up again. And he sinks the layup. Portis has got nine. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say they need to emphasize rebounding going forward. Now here's Milton. Harris, a screen on Holiday. And Milton, here we go. And he banks in the layup. And the 76ers lead by seven. Used the pick to perfection and got all the way to the rim. Portis with a screen on Milton. Three-pointer, Holiday. Again, Holiday missing. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump, even for him. And although he's undersized at his position, his vertical, yeah, that'll clean up a few mistakes. Crowder, a screen on Milton. Here's Holiday. Another miss by Holiday. He hasn't even made one point at this quarter, and his team desperately needs him to get caught. Pass to Reed, and the ball out of play. The Bucks will have it. And here we have last season's best free throw shooting teams. The 76ers, number one. Well, last year, they were tremendous at the line. A very fundamentally sound team shooting-wise. A different look for Milwaukee. Connaughton comes in for Matthews, and it's Carter in for Holiday. Milwaukee shooting only 36% during the second. Crowder outside. Back to Carter. 4-3. That shot missing. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. And they're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. Ooh, stolen by Allen. And Crowder the bucket on the assist by Carter. That's just smart basketball right there. Finding a way to get a high percentage shot on offense. Pass to Melton from behind the arc. It's hauled in by Portis. Portis has got four rebounds now. Carter against Melton. For three, Allen. And it's Harris with the rebound. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. There's 31 seconds left in the second quarter. Finds the open look, and it's on target. He's been doing this for a long time. Harris is so productive inside. On the attack, Carter. Portis, Ooh, he's locked in. Dreams his fifth shot in as many attempts. That is a perfect placement of that dime. Just guided it right to him. The 76ers have gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far in the second. Here's Reed. It's good from in tight. He's got six. Hard work pays off with a rebound and a bucket. That's just great fundamentals. Pass to Allen. To the paint. Carter from outside. Oh, he drains the three. But let's see. They may need to review it. I'm not sure the ball was out of his hand in time. And hold. The previous play is under review. Signaling that they are going to take a look at this replay. And the video is going to be sent to the officials from the replay center in Secaucus. It looked like he got it off in time, though. After 
review. The ruling on the floor is overturned. And after reviewing the play, it looks like they're overturning the call here. That basket is good. It would have been a real shame if those points didn't count. I'm so glad the officials were able to take a second look and make the right call. Joel, some fireworks early. What's going to be critical to keeping it rolling? Uh, just keep moving the ball, uh, you know, get stops, and uh, I think the kids just moving the ball, playing together. We've been doing that, and uh, we got some hot guys, and we got to keep feeling them. Ball movement is key, guys. All right, Allie, thanks for that. We will see everyone right back after this break, ready for the second half. Welcome, one and all. Before we hear Kenny and Shaq's insights on that first half, let's look ahead and check out the upcoming schedule. In that game against the Spurs, this is a proving ground game, a benchmark challenge. Anytime you go against the numero uno in the league, you got to come full strength. Do they have enough firepower to pull off the W? It's going to be tough. Switching gears here, James Harden had a solid first half of the game. You don't need to be a genius to know that shooting over 50% is a good thing. You got some big shoulders carrying this offense. Is uh, that why my shoulders are, are so big from carrying this show for so long? That's it for us. Thanks for tuning in. Now let's send you over to Brian Anderson with the third period. After a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. It's been a clinic out there by Giannis Antetokounmpo. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. And if you're just joining us, we played through the first half in a game that's been fairly even so far. The Sixers leading. Kicking off the second half, here's Mike Budenholzer's five. At forward, it's the talented Giannis and Middleton. Bobby Portis out there with Joe Ingles. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That 2020 draft was so deep. Tyrese Maxey going 21. Maxey is already a premier scorer. A steal that late in the first round. Now here's Anadokounmpo. It's good. Anadokounmpo has got 16 points. He's bringing a lot of energy to this offense, not letting the scoreboard discourage him right now. He's going to keep putting up shots regardless of the score. That's the kind of player he is. Lopez against Embiid. Back to Harden. Shoots over Portis. Harden can't hit. Tyrese Maxey, part of that loaded 2020 rookie class, Richard. At the top of the first, Anthony Edwards. He is an absolute star. So is LaMelo. Last pick of the first round, Desmond Bain can absolutely play. Like Maxey, though, Isaiah Stewart, Sadiq Bey are great picks in that 20 area. And from the sideline, let's catch up with Allie. Ryan Sixers head coach Doc Rivers earned the nickname Doc back in college for wearing a t-shirt with Julius Irving on it. In the NBA, he said, quote, 
The first game I started was against the Sixers. I went over and said, um, Dr. J, how are you? And he said, Doc, how are you? I said, no, no, I'm Glenn. But he said, no, you're Doc. And that made me feel like a million bucks. Guys. All right, thanks, Allie. Three on the clock. Ooh, plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. That one on Tucker. And I mean, how do you guard Giannis? When he's looking to score, sometimes you just have to foul. Taking two shots. is the free throw and the three-point shot so important Richard that's something you added after you came into the league what was that process like well look as the game tilted that direction it, it was no secret you have to put in that time but what I try and tell people is that it took me three years before I was able to even become a consistent three-point shooter and another five before I became a good one so as long as you're putting in the work you're gonna see the results those who evolve are those who stay around just a beautiful job of scanning the floor, finding the open man, Harris looking to involve his teammates. Anadokounmpo against Tucker. Pass to Holiday. Anadokounmpo, a screen on Harden. Here's Holiday. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got his fourth rebound in this one. And they just continue to dominate the boards. Embiid is screen on Holiday. With the step back, Harden finds Embiid. Outside for Harden. The baseline, Jay. And he hits the jumper for two. And now it's a 9-point 76ers lead. The Bucks have got two of three from the floor in this third quarter. Pass to Middleton. Kumpo outside. Lopez is screen on Tucker. That one drops for him. Adana oh, Kumpo has got 20. A nice start to the second half. They've made three out of their first four shots coming out of the break. To the left side wing. Three pointer and bead. Rebounded by the Bucks. Adana Kumpo's got a six rebound on the night. Soft touch off the glass. And it's now only a five point Philadelphia lead. <laughs> They're not messing around. Five of their last six buckets have come from the interior. And we just had to see that mobile one drive one more time. Great stuff. Whoa, a drive like that is the kind of play that can shift the entire outcome of a close game like this one. MP, good. And he's made his mark on offense especially. They've got to be thankful he's on their spot. The Bucks have gotten four of their first five shots to go since the break. Well, whenever you bring up the 76ers, you instantly think of Joel Embiid. Oh, no question. He's the face of this franchise. Embiid is as good as anyone in the league. Off the floor, Joel is willing to take the blame when things don't go right. That's who you want as a leader. And it's the Sixers with the ball. After the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. They get it back. Embiid's shot is good. Embiid's got 14 points for the game. The reach of Embiid with his size and wingspan, he's a real threat on the offensive glass. Middleton outside. Back to Anadokounmpo. Clock at six. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. Middleton outside. And so the ball out of bounds. Middleton touched it last. And a chance now to look at the highest scoring teams in the league from last season. In the third spot, Milwaukee. And last year, I liked watching this team operate on the offensive end. The ball movement, the patience, the confidence. You love seeing all that come together. Here's Embiid. And he gets it to go. He's 8 of 11 now. Yeah, Embiid is getting everything he wants on the offensive side. He's playing some aggressive basketball right now. Tries to break his ice. And Holiday powers it home. Ooh, bouncy. That should give him a nice lift. Good timing. They needed that one. 
and they need more where that came from. They're not out of this hole yet. Here's Harden after the Bucks picking up a basket just moments ago. The floater rejected by Lopez. Just an effective shot blocker. Lopez using all of that seven feet, and he does a great job of picking his spots. And the basket by Holiday. When it's this close, every bucket matters. You need good looks. Now a timeout called by Philadelphia. And that knee injury sidelining Chris Middleton in last year's playoffs, Grant. How much did the Bucks miss his impact on the floor? Well, B.A., it was a huge loss. He's their main perimeter scoring threat. That's why his game complements Giannis so perfectly. And a new group getting ready for the Sixers. Harrell's checked in for Joel Embiid. Reed comes in for Tucker. Milton's checked in for Harris. And it's Melton in for James Harden. And a new group getting ready for the Bucks. Crowder, he's checked in for Ana DeCupo. Connaughton comes in for Middleton. Allen, he's checked in for Ingles. And it's Carter in for Holiday. No one covering. Maxi's got eight points. You give a shooter of his caliber that much time to seam it up? Oh, yeah, you're done. Pass to Crowder. Allen on the wing. Fires the three. Here's Lopez. And there's two. Work on the glass, paying off that time. Lopez has got his second basket of the night. And they keep on figuring out ways to force the rock inside and convert. Outside Maxi. Back to Harold. Down low. Uses the glass to finish the layup. He has six. Well, Harold should take this any chance he gets. He can consistently punish you inside. Pass to Allen. Three pointer. Drops in the three. That's why you keep your head up. If the assist is there, you can pounce. Here's Maxi, and he drives in, banked it in off the glass. And the 76ers lead by seven. Breakdown for the defenders, and you can't ask for an easier bucket than that. Now Connaughton. And here's Allen. Pass to Crowder. Now here's Allen. Good D by Harold. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Maxi. Again, Philadelphia. A very skilled finisher inside. Even with defenders close, he'll find a way to score. Carter, the pass to Crowder from deep three-point range. And another three for Milwaukee. Good passing to set that up. Teamwork on display. To the right side. Harrell against Lopez. Harrell, no good. Milwaukee has gone two for five from three since halftime. Here's Carter. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Melton's got his fourth rebound in this one. And that's a foul. Called on Pat Connaughton. That's his first foul of the game. And the Bucks with some changes. Portis, he's checked in for Lopez. And it's Matthews in for Crowder. Here's Harrell. He has six. To the middle. And Portis comes to help. Maxi passes to Harrell. Outside Milton. Six to shoot. From deep. Counted from distance. Milton's got seven points. He can really stroke it from deep. You have to keep better tabs on him. Carter against Melton. Back to Carter. Portis with a screen on Melton. Carter from outside. They get it again. Connaughton outside. From outside the arc. Out of bounds. It'll be Sixers ball. And the Bucks making a change here. Dragic has checked in. We've got 33 seconds left in the third quarter. Here's Maxi. Pass to Melton. Back to Maxi. Shoots from 14. He hits the back iron and sinks it. And now an 11-point Philadelphia lead. And he couldn't get an easier shot. The defense right now just looks defeated. 
Yeah, you'd love to see a little bit more fire on defense. Shoot, any fire on defense. They can't just be giving the game away. Here's Allen. Portis the screen. The three is up. Oh, and he hits it at the buzzer. Huge three to cut it to single digits. They're hoping that energy carries into the fourth quarter here. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers up by a healthy eight points at the end of the period. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And while we have a chance, let's go to our State Farm assist of the game. You know, I'm kind of stoked that this was a choice because I love this pass. A remarkable find. He put his court vision on full display. That wasn't a better pass in the game, almost like he had a sixth sense. The fourth quarter has arrived. So good to have you with us. Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. DeAnthony Melton out there with James Harden, and it's Milton in at the three. That's the group on the floor for Philadelphia. Everyone in the building saw the obvious contact. And a moment to look at the scoring approach in terms of where the points are coming from here for Philadelphia. Both free throws good from Portis. To have a big who's great at the line, such a plus. Here's Harden. Pass to Tucker. Melton outside. Portis against Embiid. That shot off the mark. Oh, great D that time from Portis. Anadokounmpo outside. Back to Portis. Now here's Holiday. Portis with a screen on Melton. Holiday passes to Portis. The kick out to Dragic. Here's Middleton. That one goes. Count it. And four from just a jump shooter. Middleton stays active and is always ready to shoot. Embiid a screen on Dragic. Here's Harden. It falls. Five for 11 in the game. Nice move to get inside and create a good look for himself. The Bucks trail. Dragic passes to Anadokounmpo. He drops in the layup off the glass. Adenakumpo has got 24 points. And you want him taking good shots at this point in the game. And that one was easy. Yeah, it's clear why they go to him in these moments. They know he's going to deliver for it. His arrow's been trending up as of late. And he's been magnificent tonight. Dragic finds Adenakumpo. And here's Holiday. Middleton from the outside. Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid's got six rebounds here tonight. Milton attacking, and it goes. As the official calls the foul, count it, and he'll shoot one more at the line. Brooke Lopez is checked in for the Bucks. Ingles comes in for Dragic. What more is there to say about how much Embiid means to his team in this city? After being hurt his first two years, he's been worth the wait. Now here's Lopez. Going inside. Oh, Giannis dunks it home. No one eats up more ground on the drive than Giannis. Gets to where he wants to be in one or two steps. And with Embiid, when he puts his foot on the gas, there's no stopping him. A top scorer in the league since his inception. Not many centers who can stop this man. He uses so much power, almost unguarded. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. Now here's Holiday. Pass to Ingles. Back to Holiday. Takes a three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got rebound number seven tonight. To the inside. And then Embiid with the dunk. Defense looks hopeless against Embiid on that slam. He's just too physical. Holiday finds Anadokounmpo. 
It's Middleton on the wing. Screen by Adonacumpo. Let's it fly. And it's in after a nice bounce off the right iron. One of the purest shooters in this game. Stopping Middleton has to be a focal point for your defense. Here's Milton on the take. And he drains it. A solid five for six now. They're finding ways to get the ball into the paint. Five consecutive buckets. Oh, and Giannis hammers it in. There's a move for you. Wow, just showed great creativity on his way to the bucket. Philadelphia has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Pass to Tucker. Embiid with it. Covered by Lopez. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting, so he'll take two free throws. That's his second. And last season's scoring champion, Joel Embiid, the first center to lead the league in scoring since Big Shaq way back in the 2000 season. And he makes a first. And Joel Embiid, last season, the first center to average over 30 a game since Moses Malone did it back in 1982, Grant. Oh, B.A., talk about historic company. And how about this? Also the first ever international player to lead the NBA in scoring, too. I mean, he won't be the last with the way things are. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Timeout called. Milwaukee. At this point in the game, fourth quarter, it's always important to stay focused. And while the coach goes over the plans, these players are getting a much needed chance to get hydrated with some Gatorade. present the New Balance player of the game, Joel Embiid. And it's easy to see why they keep getting it to him. He keeps getting after it on the offensive end and putting in that work. He's been getting good looks and shooting the ball efficiently all night. Hey, these fans love him so much, and when he gets it going, they respond. The crowd's energy fueled his performance. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer was going over with his team. He really got into them, saying, quote, you guys aren't playing hard enough. Forget the X's and O's. We need to play with passion. Let's just see that for the last part of this game. Guys? As always, Allie, we thank you. Now here's Holiday. Pass to Allen. Outside Holiday. Six on the shot clock. Ana de Kumpo, a screen on Harden. For three, Allen. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Melton left side. Ana de Kumpo with the block. A defensive player of the year winner. Ana de Kumpo affects so many shots with his length. It's time to take a glance again at that superb block. Oh my, oh my. And that was textbook defense positioning himself well to send it back. Here's Harris. Not going to go that time. And Milwaukee will come the other way. Left side, Holiday. Middleton outside. Let's it go from deep. And again, it's the Bucks missing. Yeah, no triples for him here in the second half. Long fell in the first, though. Can he turn it up? Harris misses. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. And the lamp is good off the glass. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. That's a great possession. Put your best players in a position to succeed. Now here's on to Kumpo. There's a whistle. That goes on DeAnthony Melton. That's his first foul of the game. Tyrese Maxey's checked in for Philadelphia. Now it's the lineup for 76 Harden against Holiday. Honor to Kumpo outside. Just five on the clock. Pass to Middleton. The three. And a great assist by Honor to Kumpo. And that one goes in. Middleton's got seven points for the quarter. 
Harden against Holiday. Now here's Harden, guarded closely. Harris outside. And they waste no time getting those three points back. Showing the quick hands that time. Harris with the catch and shoot. The Bucks have gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. Hunter to Kumpo, the pass to Lopez. Middleton from the outside. And another three for Milwaukee. He's doing everything he can. If they want to win, others have to step up and provide some scoring. Harden. And Harden with the slam. What an athlete Harden is. Gets off the ground so fast to hammer it down. The Bucks have gone 7 for 11 so far in the fourth. Holiday finds Middleton. And here is Hanna Nakumpo. Checked by Tucker. Lopez with it. Allen on the wing. Back to Lopez. He gets it in there. And using that size to his advantage. I mean, I like it when Lopez establishes himself inside and looks to capitalize. And Philadelphia calls time here. can take their time if they want. Yes, you have to regroup. Make sure you get a good shot. To the paint. Oh, deflected. Embiid's shot is good. Embiid's got 16 in the second half. Look, inside, Embiid just has all the tools for success. The height, the power, and more importantly, the tenacity. On to the Kumpo. And the shot is good on the assist by Holiday. Holiday's got three assists tonight. Strong performance from him, but he may need to do even more if they're going to win this game. Now here's Harden. Pass to Maxi. Three-pointer. Hangs in the air. And Embiid with the lay-in. Embiid's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. That's about the only way he can score from there. Perfect use of the reverse in the face of some tough defense. For three, Allen. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Harden against Holiday. Oh, and a beautiful crossover there. And the 76ers lead by 14. Look at those handles. Look at James Harden getting crafty with the ball, mixing up the defender. Outside Holiday, the three. And it's Harris with the rebound. Philadelphia has gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. And a comfortable win for them here. Game is out of reach. Time for the fans now to celebrate a win for the 76ers. They really had things going. Their offense carried them tonight, Grant. Yeah, B.A., tonight, simply they won the battle of the field goal percentage. I mean, it made all the difference. And so this win marks their first victory of the new year. And against a familiar opponent, it's nice to establish a psychological advantage with a win in the first game. And of all the highlights and performances we've seen here tonight, the one thing that stands out is what an unbelievable night it's been for Joel Embiid. He played big all night, relentless on the glass, just helping his team in the possession battle. Now here's Maxi. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Embiid. Rebounded by the Bucks. Here's Ana Kumpo. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Yeah, and this speaks to how strong Giannis is. Able to still convert despite the physical defense. Shooting one. And that one falls for Ana Kumpo. An MVP caliber talent, the rise of Giannis from scrawny teenager to bulked up superstar has been great to watch. Melton outside. So it's the 76ers winning this one easily. A clean win and one where they clearly showed better energy. Yeah, so true. They put on a show here at home. And I really think they had that extra swagger and confidence too. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? 
James, congratulations on a big win, but I ask you this. Where does this team need to continue to grow? Uh, you know, our backbone, what we're going to rely on is our defense, and uh, it's on us now defensively to be able to lock up, be able to communicate, and be able to sustain it for full quarters. And once we get that at a high level and consistently, uh, this is going to be a problem. Thanks, James. Back to you. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. This is Brian Anderson, along with our 2K Sports crew, thanking you for tuning in. We'll see you next time.